Amitabh Bhattu, I, you know, you will recall 20, 22 years ago when Vajpayee went there, the Kashmir issue hung over the two countries. Even earlier than that, there was Robin Rafael, who was, uh, during the Clinton administration, she had raised concerns over human rights in Kashmir. Do you believe all those issues now no longer matter? That's where the relationship is at a different level. Unlike in the past, the two countries now agree to disagree on a few issues, but want to move forward at all costs. You know, there are two things. First of all, these issues acquire salience when other issues are not important. And also, a certain instrumentality when the United States wants to use this to gain leverage over India. Now, Robin Raffel was, of course, uh, not par for the course, any golf course. And she uh, was someone who was deeply embedded in the Pakistani establishment. So she was a, a peculiar uh, diplomat in the first place. But as of today, the, these issues are there in the larger landscape. But they are not as significant as they were in the 90s, early 90s, or even the early 2000s. Is that how much of that? How much of that has to do with Prime Minister Modi? How much of that has to do with an institutional relationship? In I, your view, I, I, I think one important factor which we have not talked about, Rajdeep, and you are aware of that, is the huge support and euphoria within the Indian diaspora in the United States. Mm -hmm. If you were to have an election within the diaspora. Um, uh, Prime Minister Modi would win 90% of the votes. The diaspora has been a key mobilizer of support for this relationship mm -hmm. and for Prime Minister Modi. In fact, I was in the, I was in the Bay about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and there was almost every major city in the United States wanted Mr. Modi to visit there, and that was drawn by this diaspora. So if on top, you have Prime Minister Modi plus the mm -hmm. Bora working together to build this relationship. Can I? Of course, the nuclear deal was a significant moment, mm -hmm. and we have moved from, as you said, estranged democracies to not just being engaged democracies, mm -hmm. but established partners. So, if Dennis Cox was to write his book today, he would write a, he would probably um, title it "Established Partnerships for the Future," which doesn't mean that India will give up. Mm -hmm. its quest for strategic autonomy, its space, mm -hmm. or that United States will always see India through the prism of its own democracy. Can I? See, what will happen is that these issues will become marginal to our larger strategic goals. Let's turn to that diaspora because I've got Geeta Mohan who's tra tracking our diplomatic affairs editor who's in New York at the moment tracking it. Tomorrow yoga day, the prime minister will lead uh, the yoga celebrations at the United Nations. All part of Indian soft power there, Geeta. You've got a situation where you've got top business schools headed by Indians, top companies like uh, Microsoft and others headed by Indians. How much of the diaspora will play an important role, particularly leading up to tomorrow, where yoga will be seen again as perhaps a sign of Indian soft power before the world? Well, uh, Rajdeep, the diaspora has begun to play a very important role, uh, not just when it comes to soft power diplomacy, but you will see them. Uh, not just uh, over here outside the New York Palace Hotel. Uh, they've been waiting. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is yet to land. Uh, it's about uh, an hour to go. And then after that, he will be coming from this very stretch, if you see. Uh, this is his hotel, the entire road cordoned off. His cavalcade will come through over here. And the Indian diaspora are waiting uh, to say one namaste or hello uh, to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He might walk down this road. And normally, as he does. Uh, Jagdish, how excited are you? We are very excited to welcome our dynamic and visionary Prime Minister Narendra Bhai to New York. You right. can see this, it's a working day, but you'll see hundreds of people by the time right. you know, he lands here.